Anthony Albanese has made a historic visit to Ukraine, touring three towns outside the capital of Kiev. The Prime Minister toured Bucha, Irpin and Hostomel, where Ukraine is alleging that Russia has committed atrocities against civilians. While the Kremlin denies the accusations, the Prime Minister says he witnessed the aftermath of war crimes. It's devastating. Uh, what you know is that you know, this isn't a building, this, this homes. Mm and uh, these are livelihoods and indeed lives uh, that have been lost uh, here uh, in this town. And the fact that you had such a significant force, uh, you can see the use of tanks, missiles, uh, heavy uh, artillery uh, being used in a civilian area. It's just devastating. Australia is the largest non-NATO supporter of Ukraine's war efforts, providing $350 million in lethal and non-lethal aid. During his visit with the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the Prime Minister reiterated his support for the war-torn country, announcing further sanctions on Russia and more lethal military aid. We will provide an additional 14 armoured personnel carriers, an additional 20 Bushmasters, the protected, uh, protected mobility vehicles uh, that we have provided, taking that number up to 60. We'll provide additional other military equipment, including drones and other equipment that has been requested by Ukraine. Mr Albanese's trip to Ukraine comes off the back of his participation at the NATO Leaders' Summit in Spain.